Harry. It's time to do the sequel. Don't come in, I'm armed. Come here. No. 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 Adventures through McDonald Land. Last week I talked about an unknown sequel known as the biggest nightmare I've ever had called Mission to McDonald Land. A game so unintentionally scary and poorly created that only trinkets of it remains lay waste on the internet. But wait, little younglings, there was an earlier version of this travesty. Also released only in New Zealand and Australia, where the spawns of it all resonates. The inner demons of corporal soul sucking children's weak, manipulating, beef processing, plastic cheese eating, obese pumping, thick cum shake making, steak claiming, chain restaurant let New Zealand banks run two games for an equal promotional campaign. Thus an ad campaign to get kids to spill their chocolate sundae all over their heater slash noisemaker slash PC. Cause that's what the 90s PC game was. And seeing this game was made in 1997, I had to go further back in time from Windows 98 to the dawn of Windows 95. I tried 98, but... to my party, yeah, we're gonna have a ball. All my happy friends are here, so let's go meet them all. This rap would get anyone pumped up and scream at the screen. But that, sir, is false advertising. I've seen your sequel, you can't lie to me. How bad you are. I'm Ronald McDonald, the world famous magical clown. You forgot to mention the fact that you're the equivalent of it's Down Syndrome cousin that the family left behind in the park one day and then got picked up by one circus ringleader and made him the creepy mascot for today. How's this for magic? Look! Ah! Witchcraft! This music is outstanding though, wow. I'm genuinely impressed with it. That is some Grant Kirkhope tranquility with these tracks. So unlike the second one, this one has no linear storyline it stays with. Each weird bubble dimensional portal that Child Molest through a number 73 opened here has its own scenario full of mini games and shit like that. So let's pick the first one! Oh shit! Count of the game! I love this one! This is my favourite one! <laughs> Joe. Excuse me? These horrifying nuggets down here help you locate where you want to go, like go back or exit. They even let you decide if you want to exit or not. Where the shit was this in the second one? Everything in this game is marginally better than this. I don't want- Huh? The graphics, the sound, the game, the effort? What the dick's happened? The next one looks like Liberace's gangbang sector. Shit, yeah, wasn't wrong either. Fucking hell. This one has a mini game called Follow the Lion and spot the difference. This is where we get to save Birdie for some reason. Although I think being in a pink luxurious castle may be a little better than being in a piss covered playground at McDonald's. In the castle there's Brandon here, so in reality, he's the one to blame. Go through the full of the dot game and we save Big Bird ripoff. Next up is the ship of America's most serial killer, Christopher Columbus. Oh whoops, we shipwrecked. Also flying burgers and the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Amazing. This Loch Ness seems to be drinking way too much piss water for it to be understandable. Slap a puzzle together and experience Pixar's finest achievement. Amazing! Seems like every sea creature in this little place relies on being putting back together from a puzzle. What am I, Dr. Phil? This isn't funny! I don't right. understand what's so funny about the pain of my daughter. I don't get it. I've tried with both of, of some. Beware, the black pirate is. Is what? Is tell me, please. To fix the ship, we put coins in a bucket because you know, a puzzle piece putting actual something together to fix it would make no sense whatsoever. Putting coins in a bucket, yeah, that fixes the ship. Completely. Next up is the pedophile or you can eat buffet. Or the fun park. Fuck, I love this music. Shit! I don't want to, but I do. Sentient flowers and low musical talent! <laughs> so over here we have a collide situation with Birdie and Grimace. <laughs> And my favourite mini game of all! License game! You print out your license. Sweet. Let's get our fortune told. 
deep, deep in the darkest forests of the cold northern lands of old Scandinavia, amongst the snow and the wild animals, live the trolls. They're on to me! Oh boy, math the game! Yay, education! <laughs> what? <laughs> Time to go to music land. I got no joke for that, I'm actually kind of excited to be honest. Holy shit, Grimace is the one man band we all need! Stay together lads, and a one. Cool, yeah. Like it, love it. Good. Love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Masterpiece. In the Academy of Music Hall we have a radio and they pump out some tasty ass fucking jams the kids to sing to. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh my tuba has the hiccups and my trumpet has the flu. Next up is Olaf's concept art. Oh, lovely. Mm -mm. No, it's not. <laughs> Here we have Paint the Snowman. If you click on the snowmobile, we've entered the real world. Wow, look at the graphics. Some weird gypsy tells us facts about snow and mountains. Ooh, now you don't see that every day. They call that a glacier. Do snow come from the sky? Birdie being the demon witch she is, she just floats around. She don't need so time for fucking snow. Madagascar 4 here shows us the screenshot that gave me the Vietnam flashback to force me to play this one. I've been on shroom trips that are a lot more tame than this. A pink elephant? It's posterous, I will not stand for such! Ronald up there is just ready for some sort of butt action. And if you join him up in his rape dungeon, he just sits there waiting for you to suck his penis. Now finally, Bird. Bird. A bird? Bird. Welcome to Back to Frontland. Ha, huh, I see. Okay. And what's something? Well, you read the sign. The sign said something. But guess what? This is Back to Frontland, so there's nothing here! <laughs> Fuck you! No! <laughs> zero out of ten. <laughs> like you're surprised. Both of these games get a zero out of ten, alright? In contrast, the first one's fucking massively better than the second. It doesn't make it any more playable or enjoyable, but the sounds, the music, the graphics, the general feel is a lot more smoothed over and actually feels like a more of a fucking this is how you should play a game game. The second one just drags you in there and holds your head down till you're about to pass out and fucks your ass till you can't take it anymore. Too real? Oh dilly, probably the worst games I've ever played in my life. Recommend it entirely. Especially if you want to put off eating McDonald's forever. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out Aurora Net if you haven't already, and if you're watching from Aurora Net, make sure to check me out. Coolio's Coolio! And maybe if you want to share this McLove around with someone who's suffering from diabetes from eating way too much McDonald's, do so! <laughs> and thank you so much to my Patreons, Ernest Stillman and Declan Ramsey, for your support that you give me. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you wanna, and I'll see you whenever.